guys, I wanted to do a quick video, <clears throat> talk about a little bit of things that I always get my friends always ask me, hey, I'm looking at this RV, it's used, or I'm looking for an RV, what do I need to look for? Well, I wanna show you a few things that is gonna save you a lot of time, headache, heartache, money, especially the money part, because really you wanna protect your investments. So um, I'm gonna kinda of turn here, I'm gonna look at this one right here, okay? So this wavy effect here, it's kinda of like, it's distorted looking. This is a delaminated sidewall, okay? So we push on it, it kinda of gives you a kind of a bubble effect. Now, um, the reason why it's bubbling like that is because it has lost its bond to the other materials, the styrofoam inside, the aluminum studs in there. Uh, it's lost its consistency because what happens is uh, on the top of the roofs up here, um, you get water leaks inside of that and it goes down inside and it breaks apart the uh, laminate sidewall inside. So it actually has wood, that wood and glue that's bound together and that wood, wood disintegrates because of the water. So the heat and the cold, the contraction in there, separation in there is what you're getting. So you get that delamination bubble because of that water effect getting inside of there, okay? So that's one of the things you gotta look for. So when you're looking in an RV, you wanna tap the side. If it's solid, uh, if, if you look down this side of this RV, it's nice and smooth, you see a nice sheen on it, 45 degree angle, you don't see any waving at all. Uh, if it has a wave or a bubble effect to it, uh, it's had water in it. Um, there's that, that or a bad batch of glue. Normally, 95% of the time, it's water that has caused that. So let's talk about something else you wanna look for too. Um, when, I don't have one out right at the moment, but um, on the back wall, if you see this, this coach, it has a back wall and it's kind of flex. These are hung walls, okay? So don't confuse that with delamination. A hung wall will flex, but it doesn't have a bubbling effect, so to speak on that. Uh, another thing you want to look for is on the slides and the corners down here. I'll put it down here. You got a slide corner right there. Uh, underneath the slides, you'll go under the slides and fill the wood there. If that wood has bubbled or it is um, breaking apart, it's very brittle or it's soft. That's the key is soft. If that wood is no longer hard and it's soft when you grab it, you're going to find that it, that has had water in it. Uh, if it's in the slide, you got to remove the whole slide. Uh, the whole slide floor's got to be repaired. Uh, another thing you want to check is on top of the slide roofs, okay? So if we're looking at a slide roof up here, uh, we're going to push on that corner, especially the corners. Corners always get the most damage. So we'll press on the corner and we're going to find if it has water damage to that uh, because of the softness again. So a lot of these units, a lot of wood in them. So if it gets any kind of water in it, it's going to disintegrate the plywood inside and you're going to have a very, very bad day as far as that goes. So uh, I'm going to take you over to some of the RVs here and we're going to talk about a couple of things here that you want to look for as well. Um, now these are new, so of course they're not going to have any issues, but again, we're going to talk about the slides. So looking under slide, this one actually has uh, a good piece here. Right here, you'll see drip edge right here where it's been sealed up. If this is dry rotted and it's cracking, uh, where they've put silicone on here, you're likely gonna have some water damage. Uh, so you wanna look underneath the slides on top of the roofs. If you happen to climb a roof, be very, very careful because if you're climbing a roof, it could have uh, damage on it such that uh, you could fall through it, okay? Uh, around nice things like this right here, when you open up the, the compartment doors, get the baggage compartment in here. If this seal has been broke right here and you've got the wood is now exposed, so I'm gonna try to get that lighting a little bit better here. Uh, if the wood's exposed and you press down on this inside of here and it gives and it's soft, there you go. That's another indicator that it's had water in it. Okay, water is bad because of a couple things. Um, it's an indication that somebody left it in the sun they left slides out, um, they didn't take care of a unit. So uh, you lose a lot of your investment. So what happens is, is number one, the sun actually deteriorates your uh, RV by breaking down everything. It dry rots the uh, lap sealant, the two, uh, silicone caulk on it. It just breaks all of that down. Uh, as I was saying, uh, as far as the penetration goes, you have a sealant here and then one down here as well. So. 
all the penetrations in this have silicone on it. If you let the silicone dry rot, what you're gonna have is you're gonna have water get into that and cause it to delaminate around that area. Uh, the other nasty part about water is water also leads to black mold. Black mold will get on the inside of the walls and it will um, cause like rippling effects and puckering effects on the wall and absolutely detrimental to your health because black mold is absolutely horrible to a respiratory system. So uh, what happens is the sun dry rots those things, creates the cracking, the water then gets in it and it just seeps in over time, over time. And a lot of times people are not just doing your preventative maintenance and that causes the issues to where you get the delamination, uh, floor rot, slide rot, uh, you really have a lot of issues. And if the floor gets soft, guess what? It's done. You, know, you can't really repair these floors because they're bonded floors. So you can overlay them, but even then, uh, that's something you need to look for in a new or used RV. So if it has that, those properties, those things in it, always, always look out for your investment. Look out for yourself. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll be glad to tell you. Be glad to go over those things. Again, appreciate you checking us out and enjoying my YouTube channel at James RV 007 and James Sells RVs at RV Outlet USA. Y'all have a good one.